Thanks everyone for standing Great. by and welcome to the Imogene Investor Webinar and Q&A today, discussing the strategic research partnership announced with Cellularity earlier today. All participants are in a listen only mode. There'll be an initial slide presentation lasting for approximately 20 minutes, followed by approximately 10 minutes of Q&A. If you'd like to submit a live question, please do so using the Q&A panel within Zoom. Appearing on behalf of Imogene today, we have CEO and Managing Director, Leslie Chong, and Chief Business Officer, O'Neill Shah. Joining them, I'd like to welcome Cellularity's founder, chair and CEO, Dr. Robert Hariri. Dr. Hariri is an accomplished surgeon, biomedical scientist and serial entrepreneur in both biomedicine and aerospace. Prior to Cellularity, a world leader in human cellular therapeutics, Dr. Hariri was the founder and CEO of Anthrogenesis Corporation, and after its acquisition by Celgene Corporation, serves as, served as CEO of Celgene Cellular Therapeutics. Dr. Hariri also co-founded the genomic-based health intelligence company, Human Longevity, and has served on numerous public boards, including NASDAQ-listed cryo board. He is renowned for his work in the field of stem cell research and has been widely recognised with numerous patents, publications, and awards for his discovery of placental stem cells and advancements in immunotherapy and regenerative medicine. So with that, I'll first, first hand it over to Leslie. Please go ahead. Thank you, Matt. Um, I am exuberant to talk about our, uh, this seems to be an echo, sorry about that. Um, I'm exuberant to talk about our strategic partnership today, our forward uh, words. Um, I think those of you who already know the history of Imugene, I am delighted to add a yet another little bubble to this that August 2021, we have added a strategic research partner with Cellularity. So just a brief, so I'm exuberant to announce this strategic research partnership with Cellularity. They are listed on NASDAQ with the ticker CELU. It's a bit of a spinoff of Celgene and I don't mind telling you that Celgene uh, so to BMS for a cool $74 billion. Cellularity has a state-of-the-art, best-in-class manufacturing facility on site, which makes them even more attractive to imaging. We're excited about our collaboration on combining our CF33 CD19 that we call Oncarolytics with an equally cutting edge, shockingly new, next evolution, disruptive technology called Psychart19. It's an allogeneic which will revolutionize how we can treat patients with CAR-T's therapies. It's an off-the-shelf therapy, and it will enable access on demand, repeat dosing with potential for multiple dosing, even for outpatient usage. We have seen preclinically that PsychArt 19 increased T cell growth, which simply means it increases your own immune system to be able to combat your cancer. And we've seen tumor shrinkage and longer survival benefit as compared to other blood-derived CD19 CAR-Ts in various in vivo models. The idea here for this combination therapy is for oncarolytic therapy to prime the solid tumors. And we know CF33, CD19 only loves to attack solid tumors and malignant cells and express the CD19, shrouds it and covers it in CD19 so that in combination with PsychArt19, we can obliterate that solid tumor. We are starting this collaboration today and I'm happy uh, to report this to you. Um, just a little bit, I know that you got the uh, intro of Dr. Bob Harari, but I also wanna mention that he is a jet rated high performing commercial pilot. He's also um, a <laughs> producer of several feature films. So his, repertoire is huge and large and I'm, I'm so glad that he's, uh, he's joined us. So I'll just move to Bob to start presenting on your company, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think the, um, the pilot stuff and the producing stuff probably isn't relevant here, but I can, I can tell you that I think what we're creating right here is the basis for a great blockbuster movie, which we have to, we have to, plan uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the back room. But it's a pleasure to be with all of you. Thank you so much. Leslie, thank you so much for the introduction. Um, I think 
the only person who may exceed your excitement about this opportunity uh, is me, because just like you, uh, we've been in this industry a long time. Every once in a while, groundbreaking, uh, cutting edge technologies wind up finding a pathway to the clinic and to ultimately treating patients uh, in, in a really exciting way. And this is one of those examples. So uh, first of all, if we go to the next slide, um, I want to just simply give a little bit of background uh, to the audience about cellularity. And I, I might also mention that there is a, another important point that no, nobody should forget, which is that Dr. Fong, human Fong, uh, uh, was a couple of years ahead of me at Cornell and was actually one of my chief residents. So my affection, respect, and admiration for the inventor, one of the co-inventors of this technology, go back a long way. And um, he's been a hero of mine for a long time. Aside from being a spectacular surgeon, brilliant scientist, great administrator, which is hard by itself, he was also one of the one of the nicest people I've ever worked with. So it's I'm thrilled to be here. Um, First and foremost, and Leslie mentioned this, cellularity is the one and only spinoff of Celgene Corporation. Celgene, as you may all know, was a very successful biotech tech company that transited to being a publicly traded biopharmaceutical company and actually grew to a market cap of over $120 billion at its peak. Celgene was incredibly uh, driven by the science, but also uh, was noted for being a very courageous, risk-tolerant company that, if you remember, took what might be considered the pariah of the pharmaceutical industry, thalidomide, and turned it into a platform for some of the most effective cancer drugs uh, in, in practice today. Uh, Revlimid, pomalidomide, and premolest are all derivatives of that original molecule that we all know cause such horrifying birth defects. But what it tells you is that when you've got uh, brilliant scientists behind the technology, they can, they can identify pathways to make it a useful tool in medicine and turn it into a very successful enterprise for our industry. Our company was founded as LifeBank Anthrogenesis. Leslie mentioned that. We were designed by nature to be a company to interrogate the potential of stem cells as a therapeutic, but we chose a platform, the postpartum placenta, as the source of cells because we recognized that aside from being an abundantly available resource, the fundamental biology of the organ made it the perfect platform for developing off-the-shelf, one-size-fits-all therapeutics. And for those of you in the audience who are following the amazing work in imaging, you all know that the future of cellular medicine is dependent upon one-size-fits-all, allogeneic, off-the-shelf products that have economics and logistics that fit the healthcare system, which is what we have been focused on for over 20 years. Our company, as, as mentioned, became part of Celgene Corporation at the dawn of that business's value inflection. Uh, we rode along from, from a company under a billion dollar market cap to well over $120 billion. And then we, we took an opportunity to spin off because we saw such great potential in the broad platform of placental cellular technology. Um, we spun out of Celgene in the September of 2017. We capitalized ourselves as a private enterprise and invested much of that in advancing programs in hematologic cancers, solid tumors, degenerative diseases, and also built world-class manufacturing infrastructure that really puts us uh, far apart from other companies in immunotherapy. Um, I want to I want to ground us. Go to the next slide, please. I want to ground us a little bit in the basics of the placental technology, which I know my colleagues at Imogene recognize as being game changing. First and foremost, the placenta is nature's professional universal donor tissue, which means that this platform is designed to build products that can be delivered off the shelf, cryo preserved, long shelf life but one size fits all, meaning that there's no need for the complex logistics that currently surround CAR-T therapy. This is incredibly important because the tool that's being built by Imogene that will work with, with the technology from cellularity is designed to be administered early in the course of disease 
get a huge impact on reducing tumor burden, and then create a model for sustainable control of disease. I'm, when I first heard about the technology that Human and Saul built and that Imogene has taken forward, I, I wasn't surprised because obviously I know these brilliant scientists, but I was, I was incredibly excited because what it does is it puts, it puts a laser targeting capability on the target of interest, solid tumors, in a way that heretofore it has not existed. What we are capable of doing in, in concert with Imogene is taking a, an approach which is designed to be scalable, to be highly efficient, high quality, and, and having economics that are designed to fit the current healthcare system and creating a solution to the big problem around solid tumors. The big problem around solid tumors in the eyes of the immunotherapeutic experts is access. And access is defined by the microenvironment, but it's also defined by the, the nature of the tumor itself and the ability to actually engineer by inserting targeting moieties on these solid tumors, I think is revolutionary. I think it's the basis for some, some remarkable breakthroughs that will impact the way we treat a range of tumors going forward. The placenta, as you know, is nature's professional universal donor, uh, which means that in our hands we have treated hundreds and hundreds of patients with placental cells that have never had to be matched between donor and recipient. We also have built manufacturing expertise over 15 years where we can produce product to an incredibly high quality standard that exceeds all US FDA, EMEA, and other global regulatory standards for cellular medicine. That coupled with our ability to work with a company like Imogene and take a tool that can help improve the efficiency of the killing of our technology, I think is absolutely groundbreaking. If you go to the next slide, what we've built here over the last 20 years, uh, one slide before, please. What we've built over the last 20 years if you wouldn't mind going to the impact platforms, that's great. What we've built over the last 20 years is, for lack of a better word, it's a turnkey system that allows us from the procurement of the raw material, the postpartum placenta, the derivation of the different cell types from that organ. These include pluripotent stem cells, dedicated stem cells like hematopoietics, and differentiated cells like natural killer cells. And we have created a system that allows us to produce these at very high fidelity and very, very high biologic integrity. The products that come out of our manufacturing meet a very, very high release specification, which means that we are very, very certain of the biological activity, potency, and safety, which is central to a product that would work in concert with the technology from Imogene. Um, next slide. Our pipeline of cellularity is quite broad. We currently have four different placental-derived cell types in the clinic. This goes from uh, natural killer cells, both non-engineered, unmodified natural killer cells, to genetically modified and virally transfected and modified natural killer cells. <clears throat> Placental T cells, which can be engineered to express cars like CD19, which is the perfect companion to what Imogene is doing as well as placental mesenchymal-like stromal cells, which are both immunomodulatory and pro-regenerative and will find their way into treating a range of diseases and might even be part of the ultimate solution we introduced in the treatment of solid tumors. <clears throat> there are a number of milestones that we, are, uh, uh, we have scheduled for the next 12 months, many of which are of regulatory relevance, many of which are of uh, uh, clinical development relevance. The bottom line is cell uh, cellularity as a spinoff of Cell Gene Corporation is now capable of taking this platform forward. And I will tell you, as someone who was at Celgene at the dawn of the company, we have more at Cellularity, and this partnership with Imogene will, will actually emphasize that. We have more today at Cellularity than Celgene had when we joined their company back in 2002. The um, next slide. The bottom line that I think is relevant to you is that, is that our approach, which is off-the-shelf allogeneic uh, CAR-T therapy, 
means that product will be available to treat patients literally, literally on the day of diagnosis. The underlying scalability and economics are unparalleled in the field, uh, and I am convinced that in combination with the, the capabilities of imaging, we will be able to make an impact on solid tumors that has heretofore not been, not been possible. If you go to the next one. As one example of what our placental CAR-T therapy can do, not only have we demonstrated preclinically uh, and, and in our NK program clinically, not only are these cells incredibly well tolerated by patients, they have incredibly uh, good safety profiles, but in a CAR-T setting, as, as illustrated here, not only do we have dramatically enhanced anti-tumor effects, as can be seen in the, in the survival curve, but we also have durability of effect that even when we rechallenge experimental animals with additional tumor burden, the residual CAR T cells resident in that, in that experimental subject continue to do their job killing tumor. This to me means that when you have the ability to turn on the expression of a, a targeting molecule on a solid tumor, our placental CAR T product is the perfect long-term, long-duration uh, effector to, to, to finish the deal, if you will, and continue to kill the tumor. So with that, I'm going to turn this back over to Leslie to talk about the CAR T solid tumor challenge and the imaging solution. Bob, that was inspirational. I'm even more excited about that combination because that's exactly what we have seen with Oncarlytics, that long lasting effect, the memory effect. So um, I am just exuberant. I can't say that enough, but I think, you know, those of you who know, May of 2021, Imaging was able to in license in a revolutionary product that we call Oncarlytics. It's our oncolytic virus, our CF33, invented by the prolific professor Yuman Fong with, uh, with co-developer of Dr. Saul Priceman. And it's our oncolytic virus, the ability for the virus to only infect tumor cells. Malignant solid tumors are in trouble with our virus. Uh, so when they infect the tumor cells, they multiply at such an accelerated rate along with the CD19 expression that's shuttled up to the surface of those solid tumors, and then for SICART to come and just obliterate it. And the cycle happens again and again. And as Bob talked about that whole memory effect, your T cells comes to the fight. So it's a whole swath of an army against your cancer. And what we have seen preclinically is exactly that. When you combine a CD19, uh, cellular therapy along with oncarlytics, you see a fast and swift tumor uh, regression. So that on the right, and it keeps on happening uh, even after rechallenging. Again, so my chairman Paul Hopper loves sort of like the simple nature of this, but I think this explains it quite nicely. Oncolytic virus, our CF33, CD19 oncarlytics, infects solid tumors, shuttles up the flag, Cycart 19 comes and obliterates it and bam, obliterated. We like cellular therapy, uh, cellularity have lots of milestones that we are uh, achieving, not just this year, but years on. And uh, we're excited um, about the prospect of further adding to this milestone. And this is just a brief a uh, selection of milestones that we'll be achieving just this year. And that's the end of our announcement. So um, Matt, I'll take it to you. Thank you, Leslie and Bob for that uh, presentation. We'll now move on to the Q&A session. We'll get through as many as we can over the next approximately 10 minutes. Once again, if you'd like to submit a live question, please do so using the Q&A panel within Zoom. Uh, the first question, we had a few via email that came through early, so we'll start with those. The first question is, cellularity has a genetically modified natural killer cell program targeting HER2 gastric cancer. 
they plan to combine their treatment with HER2 with synthetic mono, monoclonal antibodies. Is there an opportunity for cellularity to use Imogene's HERVAX instead? Uh, the question is yes, but I'll hand that over to Bob. No, no, that, that was almost a, a, a setup for us, you know? <laughs> this is like being on the volleyball court. A abs absolutely. You know, what was obviously um, a single program in Imogene is by far enough to excite anybody in the cellular therapy world. But when you look at the broad array of technologies available, um, it, is a, it is an absolute uh, uh, grand slam of technology for a company like ours who sees ourselves as a platform cellular company. Um, I can tell you that absolutely which we're chasing a HER2 uh, positive uh, uh, setting because of our ability to, to engineer our natural killer cells. There's no doubt in my mind that what Imogene is doing would would fundamentally change and improve the prospects for using that approach in a, a wider array of diseases. So, yes, uh, although we haven't we haven't even had the opportunity to to sit down and do a deep dive into how to how to uh, develop a program here, there's no doubt that everyone in cellularity is excited about that program as well. Sounds like we've got a lot of marriages happening with our products. <laughs> Thanks for that. The next question is, how will the cost of research incurred by the partnership be shared between Imogene and Cellularity? How will Imogene fund its contribution and how much money is Imogene expecting to have to contribute? Well, currently we're working that out, but we both feel that it is an equal footing in terms of finances, but this is um, early preclinical stage. So currently it's it's minimal amount, if any, on both parties, because we already have preclinical planned individually and now together. The, ti the timing of this of this uh, 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 partnership couldn't be better because we will get to some important inflection points already already programmed and, and budgeted by both companies. Fortunately, um, Imogene, no doubt, is a highly valuable, financeable enterprise. Cellularity, fortunately, after our public offering, is in a is in a uh, good position to access capital markets. We are also Cellularity is also a revenue generating company, um, and and is taking steps towards enhancing our balance sheets so that we can be even more aggressive on some of these collaborative programs. But I can tell you that we will we will reach important data points between Imogene and Cellularity that will no doubt be recognized by the investment community as highly financeable events. I'm confident for us as well as for Imogene. I couldn't have said it better, better myself. Right, the next question is- I can, t I can, t I, can oh, I, I apologize, I can tell you, when the first news comes out on our on our in vitro and preclinical uh, uh, validations here, this will be front page news. I agree, hundred percent. Great. The next question is: What time frame slash time period is anticipated for the research to lead to clinical trial? Uh, I think as early as in a few months, we obviously have to manufacture the products, get it into toxicology studies, go through the whole rigmarole of the FDA. But um, I'm anticipating that we could possibly get in as early as a, a year, a year and a half from now. Bob, I mean, I'm, we're quite aggressive. We're both very uh, expedient in terms of getting our products um, ready to go into the clinic. I think Leslie's absolutely on target. In fact, um, I, I think that, that this relationship is going to foster a new sense of urgency and excitement on both on both parties, uh, at Imogene and, and at Cellularity. And I can tell you, we will be in patience with our PsychCart 19 program this year. That is our target, which means that Imogene will have a clinical stage asset to begin to work with right away. By the way, one of the, uh, and, and, and for the audience, many of you probably know, obviously, of some of the historic relationships, Manil Shah and I had the pleasure of working together for many years. And so there's, there, is an, there is a very um, instant, instant 
uh, a collaborative uh, culture that exists between the two enterprises, which I think will play very well at accelerating the programs. Now, we will work with our partner, Imogene, to, to deploy any of our manufacturing expertise, any of our quality systems expertise, systems engineering expertise, all to help accelerate production of the Imogene product so we can combine the two in the clinic as soon as possible. I think Leslie's right on target. I think that in 12 to 18 months, we will be treating patients with this combined approach. And, you know, I, 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 hate, to, I hate to sort of quote the, uh, uh, the words of my old boss, Dr. Saul Bearer from Celgene. He often said, you know, in biotech with breakthrough discoveries, Sometimes you've got to be more of a physicist than a biologist. And if you, if you throw a ball off a roof and it goes up rather than down, that's pretty compelling evidence of the concept. I think in the first few patients we treat, we are going to see such exciting, exciting um, uh, combined uh, activity that, that this is going to fuel tremendous interest in the program. And as you know, in clinical programs, you need the investigators to be excited, interested, and enthusiastic. I can't think of anything that would excite oncologists more than this. Well, it's a good thing that I'm married to a, a professor of quantum physics for this one. <laughs> We're going to have to call upon him. <laughs> the next question is, in terms of the results of the partnership, who will own the rights to commercialize any resulting data points slash product? Look, I think we have such a good camaraderie. We want to get the data first before we, you know, head to the lawyer's office to decide who and what. We just really am curious about the science. We really want to get there so that we can decide. So we haven't really had that conversation, nor do I want to at this time. I, I think Leslie expresses it very well. The strength of this relationship is based in the fundamental scientific collaboration. That being said, I think it's pretty obvious that a, a truly groundbreaking approach to treating solid tumors um, uh, is, is no doubt going to be uh, received with enormous interest and enthusiasm. I, I would bet that shortly after introducing this to patients, we will spark the interest of every major company in oncology, which will give us the options on how to decide the commercial pathway forward. Thank you. And next question is, do you see this as being suitable for metastatic MSS colorectal cancer? Well, we'll have to see. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, right? So we have to put that into the clinic, but obviously metastatic setting is where we really want to target. You know, I think that if you think about the fundamental thesis behind this technology, you're using, you're using nature's approach to identifying and destroying a threat like a malignancy, and you are simply turbocharging it by creating a, a highly effective uh, effector cell to do, the, to do the killing, and then you're laser targeting it with this ability to install the targeting molecule. Now, it's elegantly, it's elegantly simple. It is complex in execution, but once you demonstrate a proof of concept in the first few patients, um, you can imagine that everyone will want to see this applied to virtually all solid tumors. We have to, we have to see things like the, the underlying kinetics and efficiency of, 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 uh, of, of viral infection and vaccination in different tumor settings. However, when the fundamental concept is demonstrated, I would say that it, is, it will be a revolution in the way we treat solid tumors. Great, well, that's all of the questions. So thanks very much, Bob and Leslie. Um, that wraps up the Imaging and Cellularity Investor Webinar and Q&A for today. Um, thanks to everyone for joining.